He is our Vice Chancellor for Community Affairs. For community affairs, and he also supervises the University Health Service, University Police Force, UPLB Housing Office, UPLB Gender Center, Environmental Stewardship Committee, and the UPLB DRRM Task Force. Um, he's also a licensed um, forester, an extension specialist, and affiliate faculty member of the UPLB SESAM and UP Open U University with expertise and advocacies on ecotourism and conservation education as strategies in protecting key biodiversity areas like the Mount Makiling Forest Reserve. He served as the director of the Training Center for Tropical Resources and Ecosystem Sustainability from 2012 to 2021. And he also served as the deputy director of the Makiling Center for Mountain Ecosystems from 2008 to 2011. Both of the College of Forestry and Natural Resources at the University of the Philippines, Los Banos. He has been working with the Los Banos Science Community as chair of its tourism committee and has served the Los Banos local government unit since 2001, first as a technical advisor on tourism and later as member of the Los Banos Tourism Council. He is credited for conceptualizing Banyamos Festival, the town's annual foundation celebration, and Shensaya, Los Banyos Science Festival. He is the vice president of the Laguna Tourism Council and sits as member of the Calabarzon Regional Ecotourism Committee. So let us focus now the spotlight to our speaker, Dr. Roberto Sereni. Good afternoon, everyone. All right, good afternoon. I was asked to um, discuss with you UPLB's Disaster Risk Reduction Management Program and even the process that we did uh, to form this plan. I thank uh, our, our speaker, Dr. Jordan, for uh, introducing some parts of our uh, plan for the university. You know, we are part of uh, a UP system uh, crisis management uh, committee. And that's a good introduction. Salamat po, ah. Mapapabilis ang discussion ko. And uh, now, how do we start? Right. Uh, well, um, I can trace that our um, crisis management or the DRM started way back in 2002 uh, as a UPLB Campus Emergency Response Group. Yan yung pinagsimulan no, nung, nung, nung DRRM. It was composed of UPLB personnel, uh, tasked to ensure the immediate needs of the university constituents are swiftly and properly attended to in times of crisis and disasters. Ang uh, composition niya, yung UPF, health service, DMSC cadets, and even mga student volunteers. In 2015, it evolved as the UPLB Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Task Force. Ayan, uh, DRRMTF, no September 2015. And then lately, uh, itong pinakabago, uh, ginawa natin siyang uh, as part of the UP System Crisis Management Committee. It became the UPLB Crisis Management Committee. And hopefully in the next uh, few weeks, mapipirmahan na ni President yung creation ng bagong office, which we will call the UPLB Safety and Security Office. Ito yung uh, dating UPF. Ano? So UPF will become the SSO. Uh, to accommodate a new task ng UPF, yung, uh, yung what we call the Crisis and Emergency Response Unit. So nag evolve tayo, no? Uh, there was an evolution from uh, the emergency response, tapos disaster risk. Now uh, we are looking at uh, totality of the Crisis and Emergency Response Unit. Um, hindi, na, hindi lang bali DRM ang pinag-uusapan na natin ngayon sa UPLB. We are now talking about crisis and emergency response. Of course, uh, in the past, uh, noong part pa siya ng OHSS, yung Occupational Safety and uh, Health Committee, may mga training uh, projects with the uh, Bureau of Fire and the Municipal Disaster Risk Reduction Management ng Los Banos, uh, earthquakes, landslides, search and rescue orientation course, even conducted by the MMDA. We are thankful for so, such kind of uh, capacity building. 
Then the fire earthquake drills and safety seminars, lagi tayo dyan, almost uh, annually, and then the basic first aid training. Uh, and uh, marami tayong, uh, yan, even the building inspection, tutuloy natin to. Ano? Yan nagsimula yung, uh, yung effort natin sa DRM, mga, mga ganitong fire and safety ma uh, management. Ayan, ano? na, na dami natin na, na, na organized na training in the past. And nung nag-assume kami, uh, ito, ano? uh, something unique, uh, yung mag-assume itong magong administration, uh, we were welcomed by uh, Typhoon Rolly. You know? Imagine mo, November 1 yan, no? November 1. Yung first day namin sa office, eh, bagyo ka agad. <laughs> and dito, dito ko na-realize yung preparedness. Um, October 30 and 31, I, uh, I convinced the Chancellor, the incoming, incoming pa lang kami, and uh, sabi ko kay Chancellor, Chancellor, we have to work. Sabihin na nilang atat na atat tayong mag-assume, pero November 1, First day natin sa office, darating yung malaking, malakas na bagyo. So we have to talk to the mayor, uh, former mayor, Assessor Perez, at was October 30 and 31 to help us prepare. So kahit hindi pa kami yung nakupo, nag-prepare na kami. Kasi alam namin November 1, pagdating ng bagyo, ay uh, matindi yan. You know? Pero we have some uniqueness kasi uh, in, um, in addition to uh, being in a science city, Las Banyas Science and Nature City, Medyo malapit tayo, ano? Malapit lang tayo sa Manila. In fact, uh, ano lang tayo, 64 kilometers. And uh, dalawang bayan yung nasasakupan ng university, Los Banos and Bae. And uh, we are the biggest campus in the entire UP system with 15,205 hectares, including the Mount Makili Forest Reserve, which is an, an ASEAN Heritage Park. Ang isa pang unique, uniqueness natin, may mismong Mulawin Creek sa gitna ng campus. No? And several smaller creeks na sa ating research area. Uh, malaking bagay yan. No? Malaking bagay sa preparation. And uh, the creek connects two important uh, geological uh, uh, landmarks. The mountain and the lake sa north. Ito yung Laguna de Bae. And uh, we are only 20 kilometers uh, from the Marikino West Valley Fault ends yung sa Kalamba. Kaya malapit lang. And with a total of 3,148 faculty and staff and 12,311, malaking bagay itong preparedness natin pagdating sa DRM. We have 225 buildings sa campus, only 170 are insured sa GSIS. And we are part of the Los Banos Science Community with 20 other R&D institutions. And uh, meron din tayo MOA. Nakipag-MOA tayo with Los Banos LGU, Laguna LGU, and then the, even the Laguna PNP and uh, Los Banos PNP and even the fire department. Uh, in fact, we are uh, providing them some uh, gasoline allowance every year just to help us you know, uh, pagdating sa preparedness. Uh, and noong uh, February 2021 this year, uh, uh, under uh, the new um, management ng university, meron tayong ginawang uh, University Crisis Management Committee in last February. Ako yung chair, and I have a co-chair, si Vice Chancellor Roland Bellio for administration. And we have another Vice Chancellor uh, for Student Affairs, Dr. Silva. And the head of the ITC, the head of OPR, uh, the legal counsel ng Chancellor's Office, the chip ng UPF, Tapos, uh, stop namin. We are lucky na meron kami talagang stop dito sa OBCCA na directly responsible sa DRM, si Dr. Mike. And uh, ito yung uh, duties ng makreate siya. Uh, Iniintroduce ko na dito yung concept ng crisis management as a graduation from DRRM. We thought that uh, medyo bitin yung DRRM. Kailangan mag-evolve siya into a higher concern like the crisis management. And under that, we have subcommittees in a crisis communication team head, headed by the OPR and the crisis and emergency response cluster. And yung concern ng UP system wide, yung students in distress. Asama na yan dito sa ating concern. So it's hindi lamang basta DRRM yung nangyaring evolution. Ano? And there's another concern like the Kalingang UPLB Committee on Mental Health and Psychosocial Wellness. So ito na yung overall na apat na subcommittees dito sa crisis management. And of course, the crisis and emergency response cluster, ang dami namin concerns, you know, search and rescue, 
fire suppression, debris and clearing team, security and peace and order, evacuation and shelter, student staff wellness, and then the medical and health wellness team. So na yung totality ng crisis management. Um, ito yung responsibility under that uh, administrative order, assure safety of the entire crisis and emergency operations. Hindi lamang during emergency, kundi before. Kasi ang, ang uh, concern natin sa DRM before mag-occur yung, uh, yung, uh, yung concern. And uh, nag-create na rin tayo ng incident command system. Ito yung organizational structure with the chancellor as the head. And then we are part of the crisis management committee with uh, subsections. And of course, meron tayong help. We are expecting help outside ng, uh, ng, ng ating concern, the municipio, the PNP, the Bureau of Fire, and including the Laguna. No? And uh, none of government organizations like the Red Cross. And uh, meron din tayong uh, campus succession plan. Uh, we classify yung crisis into the moderate to major and then the minor crisis. Pag, may, pag major na siya, major, major na siya, Vice Chancellor ang, uh, ang, uh, ang concern niya. No? I can act sa aking level. Pag sa dean, pag yan ay localized sa college, and even the director or department chair, pag within the cluster or within the building, pag yan ay mga minor crisis, ganyan. No? And uh, ito yung na-develop namin uh, levels of activation. Meron tayong minor crisis. Uh, attention niya nung, uh, nung college and then yung head o ikunyari sa MNH. That's their concern. And then uh, meron tayong uh, mga sa bawat building, sa bawat college, merong troubleshooter. Personal troubleshooter. Ito, igagawin pa natin ito. Okay? Ia-appoint pa ito sa bawat colleges and bawat buildings. Uh, stages of activation, ito yung aming plano. Initial response, kunyari may incident, there's an initial response. Then pasok yung ICS activation. And then ito na yung categorization. Itong major, lahat ng uh, response. Ibig sabihin pag major, university-wide ito. Pag moderate, okay, yung specialized team. Kunyari yan yung fire concern, so yung fire team. And then pag minor, ito na sa office. Ito na yan. Ano? Ito na yung uh, setting map of temporary facility, declaration, evacuation, control, and then even the post-incident. Ito yung levels ng uh, responses. And ito yung part no uh, na developed natin uh, ito ay uh, still on uh, finalization in fact uh, uh, isa submit natin to sa UP system crisis management committee kaya medyo maganda nang nangyari kasi buong UP system na itong uh, itong ating concern ngayon maraming maraming uh, portions ng crisis management plan natin ay adapted natin sa diniskus kanina no yung uh, concerns ng UP Manila Maganda yung kanilang contribution. No? Uh, unique yung kanilang contribution sa medical side. Yun ang naging contribution ng UPLB. Ang naibigay naman namin yung part natin kasi we are dealing with a unique environment dito. More of natural hazard naman tayo. Uh, UPLB and UP Visayas, medyo similar yung concern. And ito, nakategorize na natin yung uh, possible na mangyaring crisis in uh, UPLB. We have the natural anthropogenic, utilities failure, and others. Pagdating sa natural, it could be earthquake, severe wind, typhoon, soil liquefaction, volcanic eruption, landslide, rain-induced landslide, flood, ito yun. Ano? And uh, falling branches, ay nako, napaka matinding concern natin yan. Venomous wildlife, kasama rin yan sa natural hazards. Pagdating sa uh, human-induced or man-made, Yung fire, fire, uh, gas explosion, biological, civil disturbance, chemical, vehicular accidents, bomb threat, hate crisis uh, or crimes, terrorism, active shooter, physical burglary, hostage situation. Of course, yung ating uh, laksakit ng ulo lagi dito, yung uh, water, electricity, and even internet failures. Okay, meron tayong, na, na, based on that, na categorize natin into highest priority down the line. Earthquake is among the highest, and then physical burglary, then then internet system. Napaka-unique daw natin sa buong UP system. Tayo yung may highest priority related to internet system. Diba totoo naman, ano? problema lagi natin dito yung uh, uh, cannot be rich. Okay? Pagdating sa cellphone or even sa internet na malaki pa ang dapat natin gawin. And then we did some matrix of crisis type and first responders. Pag typhoon, ito yung DRM team. 
involved yung LGU Action Center, pag-fire, UPF, nang sa kanila yung fire truck, COVID cases, yung health uh, services, electric power interruption, yung UPMO, field trees, branches, yung health service, UPMO, pag nasa academic area, pag nasa housing area, the housing office, and of course, the UPF, pag student's emergency, nandiyan naman na front ang, uh, ang OBCSA. And equipment, meron tayong konti-konti, pero kailangan pa natin mag-upgrade and uh, pro procure additional. Uh, meron na tayo nito sa UPF o doon sa incoming SSO. Kabibili lang and uh, palaging replenish. And good to know, meron tayong uh, brand new, karating lang, wala pang isang buwan, yung bagong manlip and boom truck. Uh, ginagamit ngayon for uh, pruning and uh, removing some uh, hazardous trees. And uh, ito ay, uh, it's a, a good thing, yung ating uh, from the Chancellor Dindo, merong uh, nab nabigay, na, na procure na um, mobile patrols, ano? including that uh, two motorcycle. Ito, kaya nga bagong-bago, pag, uh, pag assume namin ng opisina, meron ka agad uh, nito. And then the fire truck, it's, uh, it's a two-year-old fire truck. Ito yung tinatawag natin UPLB Firefighting Maroons. And uh, yung committee ay uh, meron tayong DRM training plans. Uh, ito yung listahan na we hope to do sana no? uh, from February to, to December. Pero medyo mag a ito kasi yung ating situation ngayon due to COVID. And other plans ay tuloy-tuloy uh, tayo. We uh, hope to solicit uh, the participation, the active involvement of MNH and other units. Pagdating dito sa ating quarterly national simultaneous earthquake drill, monitoring, documentation of unit, participation, kailangan may ikpiti doon, national ito eh. Continuous fire earthquake drill, DRM plan for every unit. Uh, Maggagawa kami ng uh, pakiusap na na bawat unit dapat meron tayong ganitong action plan. And uh, we hope to determine pa kung ano pa yung gaps in the needed trainings and equipment. Kung uh, meron kayo ngayon alam na sa MNH, particularly na may uh, kinalaman sa heritage, conservation, sa museum operation, please let us know. Ano? Okay, that's all for now. Thank you very much for your attention.